like a real ill craft beer, stupid guy. It's the real ill, Gary. Today. Uh, doing duo hey. reviews, much like I did when I was in Missouri uh, yeah. with Tom Wilberhill. This beer comes courtesy of a great big bottle shop in uh, Norwich. I can't remember exact place. Uh, Beers of Europe, if you've ever visited, it's like a adults candy store. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, check out Beers of Europe. Yeah, okay. visit the place or even buy them online. Yeah, yeah, uh, buy online. I've, I've purchased loads, mm. as you've probably mentioned in my previous videos, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, nowadays I like going to places and buying it. But, yeah. But, if you if you uh, if you want something specific if you, and if you, you work can. all week, you don't have a chance to go up these places. Yeah. So beers of Europe is a great place because it's massive. And if you're not sure what beers, just go slow click through the catalogue. Seriously, because there's so many great beers in there. Yeah, you absolutely. Might not know. And that's that's Mr. Pickard's tribute to beers of Europe. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad. We got this beer. It's a Bristol beer factory beer. Which is just down the road. We're, yeah. in, we're here in Cardiff. We're in Cardiff, so it's just across the bridge. Um, Belgium Rye. It was in. It's uh, yeah, the Bristol beer factory glass. It's seven percent ABV. Now it's quite funny in this year because we've done about four reviews now already, and we've gone from like. 4%, 5%, yeah. 6%, now 7%. We've we'll tried different styles of beers. We've we'll yeah. tried like stouts, we've tried like uh, special IPAs, we've tried pale ales, bitters, and now we're trying a, a Belgian rye, which yeah. is uh, beer with rye. Before, know, we, before we get going, I want to say check out Ginger Ale Trail on YouTube. Check him out. He's, he's, he's a... A marathon man like me, between us, I think we've done about 5,000 beers. <laughs> 5,000 beers. Let's get it open. Yeah, let's get it open. Yeah, let's stop advertising. Beer in the glass. Yeah. Beer in the glass. It's Go on. beer o'clock. Let's get some in there. Smoking us. Look at that. Now, being a Belgian style beer, we should really put it in a Belgian style glass, but. Yeah, well. We're English we'll people. We use the nearest glass to hand. Yeah. Well, we're, using, they... we're using this for product placement. Yeah, a little bit of product placement. Product placement. Now, this is a speciality of pale rye grains, Saz Amarillo Centennial Cascade, imported wet Belgium Trappist style yeast, ultimate balance of malt, hops, and yeast. And it was bottled on the 12th of the 5th, 20th. Don't do a Mac Elvis. <laughs> with the goggles there, yeah. the beer goggles, beer glass goggles. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so the grass, there's no sediment at all. No, no, there's not. It's a nice, it's, it's a little hazy, but yeah, yeah. like a honey brown, honey brown color. Lovely, lovely look to the beer. Nice head. Let's get the aroma. Mm, you get that, you do get that trappish yeast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a slightly dry, sweet, yeah. yeah. Candy well, the lines, Bill. Do you know those sort of biscuits that you used to have with kid, uh, as kids? Like, um, you got kids. What are those um, kids' biscuits, like that big? Oh, the, with the chocolate and all? No, 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 no. The, the, the given to babies and stuff like that. Oh, um, Farley's. Farley's. Fa Farley's, Farley's Rusks. Farley's Rusks. Yeah, that's Is smack it, yeah. on. Absolutely yeah. smack <laughs> on, yeah. He got it right the last one he said about, um, Crunching a cornflakes, and that was exactly what I thought. <laughs> yeah, that was the, the broken beer. I hate mental stuff. Mmm. It smells really good. Yeah, it it's really nice. Good. Let's, uh, let's the cheers. 7%, we're working our way up now. That being said, you don't get the alcohol. It's a little bit heavy on the uh, palate when you drink it. Mm. Which you do, it's like it's slightly sugary. Nice mouth. Yeah. It's like, kind of... it's, it's, still, it's like a thick mouth feel. It's, it's, it's not. Normally, some beers you get start, middle, and it's yeah. like one flavour. Yeah. It's just like nice and smooth on the palate, and then it breaks away. You get boom. It's gone. That's nice. It is nice. It's, yeah. I'm trying to resist one. Mm. It's, um, it's, it's, it's malty. They, they, they're talking about the American hops here, the Amarillo and the Centennial. Do you really? Do you get I don't think they're Centennial. No, I'm not I really. I get the Amarillo. Because I had yeah. the Crouch Veil last night and uh, Nick Swan says to me, you do know Amarillo has like um, cat, cat urine mm. smell and that's all to end up tasting after well, that. After that, yeah. yeah. That's how it goes in your mind, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'm getting more of a kind of a multi-brew with this. It's more of a... Mm. You don't get the alcohol. 
it's, mm. it's, it's almost like a dated multi beer, like you said. Mm. You're getting like a hint of Belgium, but it's like, yeah, not, it's not enough. It's not, no, it's not. They've used, like they say, Belgium Trappist yeast, but, but I think, um, yeah, it's not, like Stuart said, exactly, it's not enough. It's not, it's not, re you wouldn't. For the blindfold, I have, have this blindfold. And yeah, you say it's a Trappist you, beer. You, you don't say you, that. You think it's like a strong pale ale, or yeah, yeah, or a slightly probably a American pale ale. Yeah, because it's, 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 it has that like hot feel to it. Mm, mm. But uh, rating on the style, and I'd probably say four, 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 because it's at the end of the style. But as a beer, it's like seven. Yeah. As a beer, 7 out of 10, definitely. But if you were to say you have to rate this as a Trappist beer, I'd agree with Stuart. Yeah, or a Belgian rye. Or a Belgian rye. Because normally they're really heavy and dense. And it's like, yeah. this is, this is quite, it's like a really... I can da down all this now. Yeah. 7%. You don't get the alcohol, you don't get anything. So for the style, it would be a, probably 4 out of 10. For a beer as a whole, 7. seven. Yeah, I totally agree. Totally agree with you. Totally agree. Um... Thank yeah, you to Stuart Pigard for joining me. It's great to have him here. It really is. He's come all the way down from New Yorkshire. Um, comments in the comments box. Subscribe to him. Subscribe to me. And cheers.